Worms Revolution looks different, yet familiar. Can you tell us more about the landscapes? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, essentially we wanted to keep the gameplay in 2D like the previous game, but we wanted to push the technology so that it was actually all in 3D uh, for the visual. Um, it's not up until recently we've had the computing power uh, to, to have the ability to do this. Um, so in this iteration of the game we have 3D landscapes at the same level of detail as the 2D landscapes that we had previously. And how are the particle effects different in this game? Um, in Worms of Revolution we've managed to put together a, a special smoke rendering system uh, which has allowed us to do a huge amount of smoke in the game. Um, we have had limitations in the past where we've not been able to do very much um, particle effects uh, per explosion. Um, in this game we've managed to uh, put together a system where we can have a huge amount of particles um, and cover the screen with smoke uh, if we need to, so we're not limited anymore. In the past there's been objects I've had to navigate around. Will these be making a return? Um, in World's Revolution we have a fully featured physics system now in place. Um, in previous games we've had static objects on top of the landscape and they're actually part of the landscape. Um, in Worms Revolution, these now move around in physics. Physics objects can be destroyed, and they have extra properties when some of them are destroyed. Uh, for example, you could have a lighter which explodes, you have test tubes which expel poison, and also water bottles can blow up and uh, produce water. What's this new water we're seeing? In Worms Revolution, we have a brand new water system that was custom made. It's very realistic. Um, we include uh, properties such as viscosity, uh, compression and also turbulence. The water in Worms Revolution um, can push objects around. Um, so for chain reactions in this game, uh, the water is a very big part of that. The water affects the worms and, and the push force. Uh, everything is dampened under, under water and it's very difficult for the worms to move around and even jump out of water. Worms don't die instantly uh, when they hit dynamic water, but it's very much like poison. Um, they take damage uh, at the end of a turn if they're in water. 